still don't understand why Olivia Marcano was involved in any of this. By all accounts, she had two or three times the money that Sal Marcano had. Money didn't mean shit to her. From what I was able to piece together, she hired someone to kill Lucho. Wanted to run things herself. Bottom line, I think she got off on all that mob bullshit. We're fucked, Olivia. You understand? That fucking shit stain Duval didn't name us in the will. Now everything's going to his goddamn nephew. Have you actually reviewed the will? I read the part that said all the land I'm building my casino on is now going to Stephen motherfucker DeGamo. I read that part. Six months ago, Remy revised the will, but he never executed it. What the hell are you talking about? In order for the will to be valid, it needs to be signed. Well, God damn it, woman, I know that. What does it mean for us? It means I have grounds to contest. Remy and I were business partners in several ventures, and one of my holding companies lists the land as an ancillary asset. Sounds like a lawyer's wet dream. What's something like that gonna run me? I haven't the slightest idea. Nearly every cent I got is tied up in that goddamn casino. I can't afford a big legal fight. There's got to be another way out of this mess. Steven is coming to town for the funeral. I could arrange a meeting. Offer him a percentage of the casino's profits if he signs over the land. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. And then once he signs, we take care of him. All right, set it up. But my patience is at its goddamn end. Do you understand, Olivia? I'm tired of this bullshit. Have a little faith, Sal. Now, Mr. Clay entered the country club disguised as a waiter. Everyone in attendance was a rich asshole or part of the Southern Union, so getting Lincoln in there was easy. You put a black man in a uniform and he's damn near invisible. Hell, I drove in through the front gate and dropped him off. No one even gave us a second look. No. Surely, his uniform wasn't enough to get him past Mrs. McConnell's personal security detail. A fast acting LSD. You know, same basic formula that we use as part of MK Ultra. And I gave it to Lincoln. He used a syringe to put a couple of drops into every drink he served. <laughs> Within a couple of minutes, anyone who drank that concoction was whacked out of their goddamn mind. Fuck me. What? What happened? I never learned how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> you sure you're up for this? Shit, I'll get in there and dose the guards with his military-grade LSD and get to Olivia. Don't let those pricks goad you into anything. Remember, you won't be able to take any weapons with you. How's it going, buddy? Follow the driveway up to the left. You've got the case, the syringe is in there. And remember, the drug acts fast. It'll fuck up whoever gets a dose real quick. Good. No sense of giving anyone time to figure out what's happening. Let me get a look at you. <laughs> if they kill you, at least they'll have something nice to bury you in. <laughs> fuck you. You see everybody else got here on time. Them crackers put their hands all over everybody else. Lazy nigga. That's their job. Had me out there. Fucking asked me where I got my car. Where I'm from. You best get in that uniform. Or get out of my goddamn kitchen, Claudia. Follow me. Get a rag on that counter. Looking like a goddamn rat's nest. Miss Olivia's gonna be out soon. She gonna say some words for old Mr. Remy. Can't stand a lazy nigga. Nothing low on the face of God's earth. Get one of those out there to them folks and serve them their drinks. And don't go talking to any of them, you hear? Get them folks their drinks now. Yeah. 
Nah, stop right there. Hold on. You ain't been paid to stand around, boy. Go serve them poor folks. Drink up, motherfuckers. So, do they have a suspect? Not a one. Old Earl set to send some of his boys out to the holler, rattle some of them monkeys' cages. I don't see it being one of the coloreds. Fucking apes was never too smart, but you don't watch them. They get vicious real quick. I'd like to personally thank y'all for coming to see our dear friend Remy Duvall off. I know with all of the violence that has reached its way into our community, it might have felt safer just to stay at home or even leave town. But you did what Remy would have done. You held your head high and you didn't run away. It's not exaggerating to say that Remy was a brave man. But his bravery is not what I'll miss most about him. What I'll miss most about Remy Duval is that he gave this city... No, he gave us a voice. The man who murdered Remy robbed this city of someone who honored its history. Not only that... Remy respected our shared Christian heritage, which extends all the way back to Europe. Remy was a dear, dear friend of mine. A dear friend to all of us. In the coming days and weeks, let's honor his memory by taking back our city. By preserving the way of life we hold dear. To Remy. To Remy. Yeah, well, she's my wife, and I should have a good day. All. Oh, come on now. Uh. You know we're gonna beat him to the moon, right? We find him over here with that bottle, man. He's gonna wish he was Wilson. dead. Wilson. Wilson. Reginald, please keep your voice down. What? Oh, he's probably one of the good ones. Yes, hey, I'll miss him too. Them, Ross. Just makes it easier to see what they're working with. Goddamn right. She says I don't talk to her enough. Like I can get a word in it twice. Hmm. Okay. Hey, I've never actually bring seen that bottle over here. I hear there's some money. Maybe. Spill it. What do you know? On the table when I get home. Well, Is that really so much to ask? Let's say there was what a lot more to the Duval fortune when his daddy died. Essentially, that inharmonious clause lets the FHA side. I mean, dead every last goddamn dime is gone. gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The what am I going to tell the other brothers? We'll remind them to maintain it. Why, pretty brother? My granddaughter. It's the only thing the Southern Union has to its name. Of course, I'll take it. Hey, new guy, you can smoke over here. You see how Clarence is behaving? Looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there. <laughs> Ask me, it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Serves him right. Nigga this, nigga that. It's every other word that comes out of his mouth. Bad enough hearing it from all these white folks. Don't need to get it from one of our own. Maybe after this, he'll rethink how he runs things around here. That'll be the damn day.
being on the moon, I could give a shit. Because they're all going to be white. Fuck this. Man, dude. Yeah, with that, man. I'd think twice before going out there. Something's gotten into those folks. Something bad. I don't care what Clarence says, I'm staying in here. Those people have gone crazy. Been a cut that crap. What was I saying now? I just... <laughs> I wish I could show you. <laughs> it's all connected. You see? We Is that you? Oh, hold on, I don't know. Me, him. We're all connected. Yeah. See you at Sunday Mass. <laughs> Goddamn God. These people are yeah. behind. I see you. I see you, Remy. No, wait. Oh. Get me out of here now. Yes, ma'am. I'm on additional men placed on the front door and around back. No one's allowed in or out without my say so. Should I say something to the guests? Such as? You saw them, they've all come <laughs> down with some... <laughs> what? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That for Ms. Marcano? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. Go on through. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I'm stuck! going to kill me. You ain't worth the trouble. Now, 
I ain't asking you a second time, boy. You the sign over that land, hmm? I swear to Christ, I will bust every fucking bone in your body. You hear me? Hmm? I'm not... I'm not signing a damn thing! Smart, pal. It's like Christmas come early. Gamo, I'm gonna get you out of here, but we need to move. Marcano's probably sending more men. Yeah. Okay. If they brought me here in my own car, I think it's still near. Last out there. Marcano ain't gonna rest till he finds you. He broke my hand! Shit! I just wanna go home. I know. Listen, I got a friend. He's gonna keep an eye on you for a while, keep you safe. At least till things calm down. Okay. Thank you. You saved my life. Don't mention it. You hire something? Is 
Steven DeGarmo. Lincoln left him with me, and I got him the hell out of there. And you still know DeGarmo's whereabouts? <laughs> like I tell any of you assholes. Good morning, Ms. Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. That's better. Are you telling me Lincoln Clay did not murder Olivia Marcano? He didn't kill women unless he had no other choice. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Back in 67, we were in a bar in Saigon, and this gook bitch comes strolling in. Skirt barely covering her ass, and she starts offering everybody blowjobs. G.I. wants sucky fucky. Hmm? G.I. wants boom boom. And then she pulls out a grenade and she kills three guys. A couple Marines in the bar want to cut that bitch's head off, but Lincoln stops them. Keeps them off her until the MPs show up. If he wasn't going to kill that slag, he sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Olivia Marcano. Lincoln once told me he couldn't tell any other cheek. That the world doesn't work that way. <laughs> I spent the better part of 40 years trying to prove him wrong. When I was just lying to myself. Look at how we treat each other. Compassion is a sign of weakness. But greed is a virtue. The poor is considered morally corrupt, while every excess of the powerful is celebrated. We sent kids off to die. For what? So someone can make a few bucks? Lincoln was right. He was always right. <laughs> there ain't never gonna be another Dr. King or a Bobby Kennedy. But there always gonna be another Sal Marcano, another Sammy Robinson, another Lincoln Clay. We are cruel and wicked people. Lad, your last chance to make things right between us. I've held up my end of things and locked down this goddamn turf for you. But now it's time you held up your end once and for all. The city's in our hands now. Everything goes through us. And yes, Burke, I understand that you feel like I've wronged you. That was never my intention. That said, I hope you understand that I need to hear from everyone before I make my final decision. Mix ain't the kind of folk you won't pissed off at you. They'll take that grudge with them to the grave, and you along with it. If y'all made a deal, I expect it's best you honor it. This is where we're at, pal. If for some ungodly known reason you still want that goddamn Mick around, then give him the fucking turf so we'll quit his belly aching. You got one more round in the chamber. Last chance. No turning back from this one. This turf's going to the Irish. I got big plans for this one, lad. And it starts with a statue of Marcano getting arse-fucked by a goddamn badger. Holy Christ! How the fuck did we make it through this shite in one piece? I thought for a certain Scaletta would have his throat slit by now. It may not have all played out the way I would have liked. But we're here, and we're making money. And Lord knows, I'm a hell of a lot better at being alive than I am at being dead. <laughs> I have way figured Lincoln will have killed us all by now. What we done here? Taking the city away from Marcana and doing it without killing each other? We gotta be proud of that. I'll admit it. I had my doubts, but no more. You came through just as you promised. And I'm lucky to be a part of it. Kinda thought I'd be gay to shit by now. So anything shy of that, and I'm good. 
I'd prefer to be running more rackets. And by more, I mean all of them, but fuck it. I'll just wait for one of you motherfuckers to bite it. <laughs> We're living proof that the ways of Marcano, the lying, the backstabbing, the cheating, don't need to run in that direction. Those ways are as dead as he is. <laughs>